Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to get search volume using version 3 of Keywords Data API. We will first set a task and retrieve the results using the standard method. It requires making two separate requests to the API server, POST and GET. After that we will use the LIVE method which provides instant results. First, you should log in to the version 3 account dashboard. We will need it later. Next, open data for SEO docs. In the introduction section, you'll see the examples for different programming languages. We will download the Postman collection. Now, let's find the gzip compressed examples, open Postman and import them. As you can see, the data for SEO collection is displayed in the sidebar. You can now select Edit, then open the Authorization tab and set the basic authentication type. From here, we should get back to the account dashboard to copy the credentials. Use the API login for the first field and API password for the second one, then hit Save. Now, open the Keywords Data folder, click on Search Volume and choose the task post. Let's head to the Authorization. Set the type to Inherit Authentication from Parent. Now we can move on to the body of the request. First, you can set custom post IDs for each separate task or let our system assign them. Next, we should specify the search engine language and location. You can choose either the language code or the language name field for it. Then define a code, name or coordinates for a location. To get more info on this, turn to our docs. Now we got to the keyword field. It can contain a maximum of 700 keywords. For the character and word limit, please check our docs. We'll indicate three keywords as an example. Additionally, you can set up sorting by relevance or search volume. If you do not use this field, the keywords will be sorted by search volume by default. So, we are now done with the body of the request and may hit send. The response from the API server shows information about the set task. We need to copy the ID of the task to retrieve the results. After this, click on the task get under the search volume folder in the sidebar. In the get URL, replace the ID variable with the ID of the task that you copied. Remember to set up the authorization and then hit send. Once you receive the response from the API server, you can review competition, CPC, monthly search volume and other metrics for each keyword in the array of results. Our documentation has a detailed description of each field under Google, Search Volume, Task Get. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the live method and receive results in real time. Choose live under Keywords Data, Search Volume. To set a task, we should repeat the steps we followed for task post. So, again, first remember to configure the right authorization type. Then, we will indicate the location and language of the search engine and fill in the keywords. We will also sort the results by relevance. You can set up sorting by search volume or not use this field at all as the keywords will be listed according to this metric by default. Once you are ready with the body structure, hit send. As you can see, the response of the API server already contains the keyword metrics. A detailed description of this field is provided in our documentation. Congratulations on your first call to Keywords Data API. Now you know how to empower your keyword research with data for SEO. Thanks for watching.